Hi all, good evening, Jai Hind. I hope you're all well, fine, healthy, safe. This is a very important session for the students who are in grade 5th to 8th and also their parents. I'm going to highlight the importance of logic as I always have been. Logic is one of the most important parts of mathematics and this is the most underrated also. Bahut sare bachche maths mein struggle karte hain, not because they're not able to understand numbers, because they are very poor in logic. And this is something which we have to improve if we want to get better in mathematics or in general problem solving skills. Now, which are very important for life. If you want to clear any competitive exam of good nature or in general when in life, logic, you have to make logical decisions. You have to make uh, analytical decisions in your life. And that is why building logic right from this stage is very, very, very important. Now, before we, uh, uh, before I talk to you about uh, this particular course that we're bringing and it's a weekend only course, uh, why do we want to start early? Right, what is the advantage that we get? Because these are the years, grade 5th and 2, 8th are the years wherein the student is able to build the curiosity. It is very important. These are the golden years for curiosity, golden years for building logic. And if the child is able to build logic, go deep into uh, the things rather than only superficially understanding the formulas, he is able to do really well in life. We have seen there are ample examples of students who have started as early as grade 5th, not the core mathematics, but logic and been able to do really well in all the competitive exams. Young kids learn through play and not pressure. You cannot make them sit for mathematics or any other subject. But again, if the things are uh, uh, interesting, they will be able to sit for longer hours. We've seen that. We've seen our kids, uh, these, these uh, children watching TV for long hours because they find it interesting. What if we make mathematics interesting? What if we introduce logic via mathematics, they're going to sit and we've seen this. One of the most important feedback, one of the most amazing feedback which we get from the parents uh, in our courses is ki sir, ye bachcha baitna sikh gaya. This is something which makes us really happy. And because ek bar bachcha baitna sikh gaya, uske baad, uh, he's not only going to study mathematics but all the other subjects and he's going to do really well, not only in schools but all uh, aspects of life. Puzzles help them think and enjoy uh, thinking instead of pairing maths. Right, so this is again one of the very important aspects. Boss are bache maths ko fair karte hain because they are not able to understand for formulas, understand the logic uh, behind that formulas. But what if we make this interesting? What if we introduce puzzles? What if we make them think? Because mathematics is thinking only. Right, so, so the kind of mathematics which is taught in school, which I'll be talking about uh, in a few minutes, is not the kind of mathematics which we want to give to the students. So mathematics has to be fun. And the prime A aim of these kind of courses that we do on this particular channel or on our platform is to make mathematics super interesting. Children solving Rubik's Cube and Sudoku versus mugging formulas, the ones who are able to solve these Rubik's Cubes, play chess, solve Sudoku, Skakuro, they're always are able to apply their minds. And if they're able to do these kind of puzzles, they will always be do good in mathematics. They will always be doing good in school mathematics. And that brings us to the second point, that is marks versus logic. Now school marks, we've seen a lot of students securing 100% marks in schools, but still not good in mathematics. There are ample examples. We must have seen stories of students topping in board exams in their grade 10th, scoring near 100% marks overall, but still struggling in their 11th and 12th when they're preparing for JE. This happens because they lack logic, they lack problem solving. So this is something which has to be built from this age onwards. Logic is long-term advantage and it is uh, not only, uh, you know, for the competitive exams like JE or, or NEET or ISI, but also uh, in, in the long term, you need people who are able to solve problems independently. Right, so, so the problems which have already been solved, unke liye AI aa chuka hai, aa jayega, the jobs are going to get replaced in the next 5 to 10 years. We need people who are able to solve problems which are new. And that is why building logic at this age becomes all the more important. Benefits of early puzzles, it brings, it uh, builds problem solving skills. What are logical problem solving skills? I'll be talking about in the next slide. Improves focus and patience. The student is able to sit for longer hours develops creativity and reasoning, which is very important for life. And of course, last but not the least, it creates love for mathematics. Now, what is logical problem solving, right? So we keep on talking about problem solving, but hey, hota kya? So uske andar, there are three major things. So one is reason and strategy, right? So, so 
As I always say, mathematics is more about reason and less about the formulas. Because if the child has to think, the formula is ultimately is going to learn. He will be able to learn. But again, how do we apply that formula? How do we analyze that situation and uh, bring in that particular formula? This is something which is very important for the child to learn. So it involves applying sound reasoning and strategic thinking to break down the complex into in, uh, issues into manageable uh, parts. So if there's a situation, a mathematical situation or any situation in life, how do you break that situation down and uh, how do you solve those particular things with the things you already know? Right, so it might seem very trivial when uh, you know you compare it with the school uh, kind of problems because school problems are one step problem or maybe two step problem and you already know the solution to those problems. But in good problems of mathematics, uh, which come in Olympiads, which come in uh, let's say exams like JE, so you have to break down into different parts. You have to solve those basic parts with the knowledge that you already have. Right, so, so and and you do it with reason and strategy right so strategy and reasoning is very important part of the problem solving skills the next is analysis and prediction this skill includes carefully analyzing information predicting potential outcomes and making informed decisions based on the evidence so agar uh, and this happens particularly in good good problems right so uh, so one of the key uh, questions which are asked by the students is sir hame kaise pata chalega ki iska yahi solution hoga how would we get to know that this is going to be the solution when they see solve example or when they see me solving on uh, YouTube or on the platform? Now, this is something which is very important. Now, in a good problem, you will not, you might not have seen that problem before. So, how do you know? So, again, you don't know the steps. You take informed decisions. You keep on analyzing the problem. You see what things you already know. You write down those ideas and then you take the informed decision. Oh, should I be going ahead with idea number one or idea number two or idea number three? Right, so you prioritize those ideas. So if you, let's say, go ahead with idea number one, maybe it does not work, then again, what idea should we go going with, two or three? So this is something that we have to learn because this is something which the schools or the school content is never going to teach us because it is way too simple. It is way too simple. It is one step or two step problems, but these are not the kind of problems which are going to come in the competitive exam later on in life in general. Right, so, so this is a very important aspect of problem solving. And of course, uh, we have to go beyond rote learning. This is what I always keep on saying. Uh, in schools, you are already given the series of procedures to solve a problem. If there is a problem, you can tell the method of solving it already. The only thing that change, well, probably in the assignments or maybe in the tests, is some values. Now, the only mistake that you can make or student can make is the calculation mistake. And please understand calculation is far different from mathematics. No one is going to judge you on the basis of calculation skills because beyond a certain point, you are going to be given calculators and Google Sheets to solve those calculations. Right? So we have to apply, we have to be the brains behind those Google Sheets. How do you make those Google Sheets? What is the algorithm, mathematics algorithm behind those uh, Google Sheets and calculators? This is what the world is looking. Right? So, so of course, we have to move beyond rote learning because the students who only and only do schools up to class 10th, and if they plan to do competitive exams later in life, they are always and always going to struggle. You have to build problem solving skills in these years, which is very important. This is the core idea of the almost all our courses that we do in Vedanta Olympiad School. Now for this course, why is this course very important and very interesting? Because we are keeping it open and accessible to all the students who are in grade 5th to 8th. It is going to be taken by Amit sir. The start date is 28th, 9th November and it has been carefully curated. It's a very interesting course. We are not going to teach any mathematics here, but only and only logic with mathematics. It is going to have 10 classes every Saturday 5 to 6 p.m. So every Saturday 5 to 6 p.m. the class is going to be live. If you miss this class, of course, you will be getting the recordings. So the course is called Logic First Math and uh, Logic Booster. The price of the batch is 99 rupees only for 10 classes, right? Now, what makes it very interesting is we've worked really hard on the content part, on the content part, right? So look at, look at the topics and you will actually get uh, very excited by seeing the topics. The first topic, which is going to be on 29th of November is going to be math detective solving with logic. Then we'll be talking about the perfect squares, the magic of perfect squares, from coin toss to confidence, geometry in Santa's gifts, puzzle -a Ace your calculations. So again, we will also be talking about the calculation skills, how to ace or master your calculations. Let's explore algebra, Singapore style model method, 
mensuration with tangrams and mathematics in art right so, so it's a very different course uh, this is the kind of course which you might not have seen before i can almost guarantee that this is the kind of content that you might not have seen and it's very different it's very interesting it is definitely going to make you fall in love with mathematics i can guarantee that right so so what are you waiting for you uh, there's a link which is there in the description box you can always uh, click on that link and uh, uh, always join this batch. The batch price, as I mentioned, is uh, uh, 99, 99 rupees. Yeah, start date, I think it is mentioned wrongly. It, I'll, I'll correct it. It is uh, uh, November 29. It is going to start in November 29. And it is one day a week batch, only Saturday, 5 to 6 p.m. classes. And uh, it is going to be super interesting, super fun. So if you know anyone who is in grade 5th, 6th or 7th or 8th, and want to actually explore mathematics, the logical mathematics, please tell him about this course. Please share this session with him or her. Take care. God bless you. Bye, everyone.